Okay, Jared, so Norwalk, Junior High Districts, Norwalk, Ohio, yep. how many uh, kids entrance in the tournament? Uh, 400 kids in the tournament. Up how does that? 40, we had 360 last year. So. 360? Nothing so, better, yeah. growth. Growth is the yeah. model here, right? Well, well, just good wrestling, too. Good wrestling. Okay, uh, I look in the gym. I saw Chris Phillips today. Great guy coaching. Chris Estep, saw him. Uh, I interviewed Olympian Harry Lester. And I, listen, I look at the events and the people you bring in and who come into the events, it's phenomenal, right? Like, do we have an Olympian here right now coaching and looking at junior high kids, right? Talking to them, helping them out, coaching in the chair, it's amazing. What do you think, why does your event draw such great people? Well, it's not our event, it's just Ohio wrestling. I mean, you look across Ohio wrestling, it's, you know, the top guys are coming back and get involved in the, in the sport. You look like some Harry and all these guys, you know, it's... It's part of our, you know, DNA to be involved in wrestling. You know, you might be out for a few years doing other things, and it always draws you back in. You know, and, you know, and, you know, these tournaments are tough. And you know, coaches, if you're coaching wrestling, you want to see your kids line up uh, in wrestling. So, um, you know, these are the tournaments you come to to see, you know, test your kids and see where they're at. So. Okay, so when I walked in, there was a thing posted on the door for another one of your new events. What about put, what, your name on the thing you got on? The no, my name on the thing was sweet. Oh but there was actually, like, you guys were talking, like, was it freshman state you freshman, guys are having? Yeah, yeah. That was posted yeah. on the door. Yeah, some of the weights already sold out already. It's are you kidding out. me? We've got to cap it out because it's a one day event. So it's like, you know, 64 man. When is day. that? It's uh, Saturday of Junior High State. So the Saturday? Center. So wait, what's the date? Is that NCAA yeah, wrestling no, weekend? It's the weekend before. NCAA's uh, grade school weekend. So, so are you trying to get me to call? The the uh, freshman state finals is that is that a thing? Did I just make that up? I'm not scared. Yeah. I'm not scared. Okay. Ten plus years, right? Yeah. I, I, come on, I'll do it. I'll do it. But okay. So we look at that. You've added that event. We've got divisional state. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really like the divisional state yeah. idea. Okay. Because this is all one division. Mm -hmm. This is like this is a meat grinder, dude. This is right. really hard. Okay. Right. And you know, Matt and Rand, the 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 novice state. Novice state. Mm -hmm. Yours kind of like piggybacks off that a little bit, right? It's, it's kind of between the two. You, know, you have your one division here. It's you know, mid ground, like you said. Then you have the novice state, and you have to be under these certain uh, criteria to be a novice. And that's kind of in the middle of the road. You know, go down there, get some matches end of the year for kids that may have not qualified for the junior high or grade school state tournament. Um, and then there's you know, you're gonna wrestle. You're not gonna see the same kid. And then it's also a little bit different with. Um, there's a junior high division, and then there's a sixth grade, and then a fourth grade. So it's not necessarily by birth year, it's by your, by your grade. So your grades are in. Right. So it's similar, okay. yeah, obviously, the high school layout. It's still pretty, really good competition, right, but right, not right, right. this level of competition. Because right, right, this right, is right. like crazy, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I don't even know. I like, I, I like shake my head. So I see. So one of the finals, I think one of the guys, best guys, got pinned in the finals today. I like, it blew my mind. It was crazy. So okay. So you're all about like wrestling for all. Everybody can wrestle, you know. And that's kind of the movement with wrestling is anybody can do it. Today, um, I, I just interviewed oh, Celestina. You're super, I haven't seen that site in a while. Oh, uh, <laughs> dude. Listen, <laughs> Celestino, first off, I hope he's nice to me when he's my boss someday. He's so intelligent. And he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He did that. just get pinned in his second round match, right? This is his first year wrestling, though. Really? I yeah, know that he was one in 12 to 8 in that one match to pin the yeah, guy first round. Yeah. But, you know, what does that say about the sport of wrestling? We have a an athlete who's visually impaired. He is blind. He cannot right. see anything. He said his glasses don't really even do anything for him. But he said he can't do a lot of other sports. Anything that has, you know, like a ball, a moving object, he, he can't do it because, you know, depth perception, can't see things. What does that say about the sport of wrestling? We have a... I mean, wrestling... Any for anyone, maybe all shapes, sizes, you know, different abilities. You know, you don't have to be blessed with speed or height. Um, you know, it's for everybody. And, you know, I guess maybe that's why it's such a close knit community because we kind of can walk in each other's shoes, you know, and, you know, it's just, you know, teach a lot, of, a lot about hard work. You know, you might not be most athletic, but if you're out working a hard athletic guy and you get him tired, you're going to be in that match. So, um, you know, we see it all the time, right? I'm sure you're dead. Has all kinds of quotes. Right? <laughs> I think my dad's so, quotes just like work harder than everybody, well, work longer and harder than everybody, right? Kind of like at Opera, right? right? kind of like at Opera, right? right? Yeah. Like think about it, just yeah. gritty blue collar people, right? Right. So, exactly. it's, so. Yeah, seeing that kid today, man, I got right. super stoked. Right. And then he won the match, won in like a spectacular fashion, right? right? It was ten eight going to the third. Yeah, it was a ten eight. Runner. Yeah, and, and then, then he got a twelve eight lead, and then he pinned the guy. Yeah, he got on top and he kind of reversed half. Yeah, and he and he, but he feels he, you know, because he he's got a jujitsu, he's a black belt in jujitsu. Right. right so like he feels positions way different he said the biggest thing was fighting to go to his back 
Because that's what you want in jujitsu. Yeah, that's like the, you know, you want to get a guy and submit him, right? Okay, so where are we going to be next? What are we seeing next? What are, where am I going to be next? What's what's happening next here with OAC? We got four uh, junior high districts next weekend and a grade school next weekend. So I believe you're going to be at Braxville. Braxville so, Sunday, right? Yeah, we got, uh, like I said, four junior high, one grade school, and then the following weekend's great, uh, junior high state duels along with one more grade, the final grade school district up at Raymond Park. And after that, Which I'll be at. Yeah, and another one, right? Right in your backyard, and then another one in, uh, after that is Divisional Weekend. It's, uh, Marysville? It's in Marysville, Ohio, weekend of high school districts, the Sunday of high school districts, and then um, obviously the high school state tournament. Uh, we don't have anything that weekend, and then it goes into junior high uh, weekend, which has the freshmen and girls, like you said, and then it's grade school. So um, you know, back to back weekends in Youngstown with a lot of wrestling. Of okay, two of my partners and your partners, You, uh, the relationships came from you, but you helped me build uh, relationships with Barbarian. Right. Josh Sasfi, um, Conquer the Impossible, and Defense Soap, Guy Seiko, Defend What You Built. What are those guys like as partners? They're great. They're, they're, like we said earlier, they're wrestling guys. So it's, you know, you're going to deal with, you know, you don't have to worry about if they're going to do the right thing or take care of you. And, um, you know, Josh and Guy and even Smitty, you know, they, they're just wrestling guys. And um, Defense Soap, they're constantly improving their, their products out there. Um, and then Josh is always, you know, hey, what about this and what about that? And, He's constantly working with us on our apparel and you know, the finalist gear. I think they're really going to like them this year. The, the, uh, the 2019 gear looks really good too, and the, you know, just some quality product. And it's you know, take care of us. So. We couldn't be more happy working with those guys. All right, Schmitty May guy too. He's making yeah, it. Schmitty, he's getting Schmitty, the state Schmitty, tournament for me. Schmitty, you know, yeah. Schmitty is uh, you know classing up the joint everywhere. They don't have them here at Norwalk. I'm gonna have to talk to somebody. I'm gonna have to get, uh, Pat Kenya. He's one of the administrators here. Yeah, yeah. I have to talk to Pat. Cause they gotta, they gotta start classing the joint up here. It does not look very good. And those, and those chairs are gonna punch right to the mat. All right, you got anything else for me? No, thanks. Hey, thanks for the time. I gotta go to Columbus, and uh, you're Have the man. Fun Have fun tonight. Oh, I can't. I can't wait to watch. Now yeah. I get to watch. Now you get. Now no, you get, get, to, get to watch. Hey, thank yeah. Guy, right. and that's and and and, and, and Sassy, right? right? They took care of it. All right, hey, thanks for the time, and I gotta roll. Thanks.